Hello everyone. I am myself Dr. Rajesh Gubba. I am the General Medicine Educator on an Academy and I welcome you all to this clinical sign of the day. So before starting the session, let me just give you the updates from an Academy. An Academy has come up with these important batch courses that is Mission INICT 2021 batch and Clinical Examination and Procedures batch. And other batch courses are Target Next 2022 batch and Target Next Integrated batch 2023. So to get subscribed to these batch courses, you can use my code that is LiveMed, wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. Having said this, let me discuss the clinical sign of the day. What is the importance of this sign? Right, I'll just show you the video and then just see the options simultaneously. Right, you observe what the doctor is doing over there. So first she palpated the radial artery and looking for the pulse and she felt something abnormal when she is palpating the radial artery. Now she is palpating the apical impulse. After that, now she is auscultating. Simultaneously, she is also feeling for the radial artery pulsations. Both of them she is doing simultaneously, auscultation and radial artery pul pulsation. Now, first of all, you should know what is that she is demonstrating. Okay, so if you see the options, if you see the options, this particular procedure is required to diagnose ventricular tachycardia, to diagnose ventricular fibrillation, to diagnose atrial fibrillation, and to diagnose ventricular flutter. So first of all, what is that she was doing? She was calculating what is called as the apex pulse deficit. Now, what do you mean by this word apex pulse deficit? In a normal individual, the apical impulse will be equal to that of the pulse rate. That means heart rate will be equal to that of pulse rate in a normal individual. But in patients with atrial fibrillation and in patients with the ventricular ectopics, in these individuals, heart rate will be more than compared to that of the pulse rate. So what happens in these clinical scenarios is, the contraction of the heart is not being felt as the pulsation in the radial artery. So that is the reason why the heart rate will be more than compared to that of the pulse rate. And that is what is called as the apex pulse deficit. So this particular sign is mainly used to diagnose the atrial fibrillation. Then how will you differentiate this from the ventricular ectopics? Then what exactly is the procedure first of all? See, if there are two persons, one person is asked to calculate the heart rate and other person has to calculate the pulse rate. Whatever the difference is there between heart rate and pulse rate, that will be your apex pulse deficit. For example, only one individual is there, only one person is there, then simultaneously the individual should auscultate and as well as the palp palpate the radial artery. And whatever the heart beat, you feel that it is not being transmitted to the radial artery that you need to consider it as the apex pulse deficit and you need to count that. And after counting, if the apex pulse deficit is more than 10, that is suggestive of atrial fibrillation. And if the apex pulse deficit is less than 10, that is suggestive of ventricular ectopics. So that is what is called as the apex pulse deficit. Then coming to the homework of the day. So, if you observe this ECG, what is the diagnosis? Right. So, I am sure everyone might have made out the diagnosis of atrial fibrillation. No doubt in this, right? But, what is the homework for the day is, the rhythm, if you see here, it is irregularly irregular rhythm because you have varying RR intervals. What is that I want you to answer in the comment section is, how will you calculate the heart rate in this ECG? See, if the rhythm is regular, it is very easy to answer, right? How to calculate the heart rate? That is 300 divided by number of large boxes between the RR interval. But how will you calculate the heart rate in irregularly irregular rhythm? That is what I want you to answer in the comment section. So please answer the heart rate of this ECG in the comment section. I will revert back to you. Right? Before winding up this session, let me tell you, this is a limited time offer going on on an academy. The prices have drastically reduced. You can go through this 
And those students who want to get subscribed, you can use my code that is LiveMed, wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscription. Thank you very much. See you again in the next clinical sign of the day.